My lovers, Virgo Nation and their lovers, welcome to your June 2020 astrological sign update. Now, don't forget that when you're watching these readings for love, you're not just going to watch your sun sign, you're also going to watch your moon, your Venus, your rising sign. Some people also resonate, um, resonate strongly with their north node, but if any title calls out to you, go watch it because that's your guides leading you to a particular message. Um, and then you're also going to watch your person's placements in those areas because when it comes to soul connections, the energies can definitely be, be, fl can be flipped. Okay, guys, it's Mercury retrograde. That's what happens to me. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm going to be tripping over my words. All right. Um, well, you guys would understand your Virgo energy. So, got so much Virgo in my chart, just not in my son. All right. So, um, let's have a look at what's going on here. I am honored to be using three special decks. These two, the Mermaid Tarot and the Spirit of the Animal Oracle deck, they were actually given to me as a birthday gift because my birthday was on the 5th of the 5th. And they're actually from another reader, a medium of light tarot. Um, and it's so amazing when you receive love from other readers. So I want to thank her for those. And this one was created by one of our soul sisters, um, Renee, and it's a Twin Flame Soulmate deck. So if you're interested in purchasing her deck or um, posters of the cards that, that we're going to be presented today, um, there's a link down below in the description box. But um, it's just so amazing. I've used them for all the other astrological sign readings. And they are on point. All right, so that's significator for your person, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. We have telepathy. Interesting. It says telepathy is a great gift from the divine intended to be good. It is usually done through the crown chakra or third eye chakra. Spirit is asking you to listen inside and speak with them. Okay. So you are enjoying some kind of telepathic communication um, with your partner, your love interest, um, somebody like that right now. Because this is, this is definitely a soul connection here. Okay, so you guys, your third eye is on point here. Um, for you guys, some of you guys, it might be um, your twin because this is a card number 38 and 38 reduces to um, 11. So it could definitely be your twin. Um, and maybe through these telepathic communications, you guys are able um, to find some kind of closure, um, kind of balance things out with the information that you get. You're able to balance things out between you guys. Maybe you guys aren't speaking um, in the 3D. So it's through this um, telepathic communication here um, that you guys are able to really get information about each other and really have conversations that aren't happening in the 3D at this point in time. So I'm seeing a, um, a really psychic connection going on here. Uh, but let us see um, what spirit wants us to know. So I'm going to pull two cards on it. I'm also getting that it's this telepathic connection that's convincing your person that this is, um, that this love is real. That this love is real. Let me see the card under the deck shedding skin yeah and this is what's causing your person to transform um as well they're recognizing that this love is real they they, they weren't sure they weren't sure but it is the telepathy and all the astral experiences that are convincing them listen there's something going on here um that i've never experienced before So let's see what's going on here. All right, so we have a King of Cups. Some of you guys dealing with a Virgo. Why am I, <laughs> why am I saying Virgo? <laughs> so no, this is a Scorpio. This is a Scorpio. Some of you guys are dealing with another Virgo. Yes. But this is Scorpio. Sorry about that. Mr. King of Cups. We have two of Wands Reverse. Leo Sagittarius Aries Energy. And we have Ten of Swords Reverse. 
all right so the person that you're dealing with virgo um who could definitely be a scorpio they have big love for you here okay big love um but they're not they're not expressing this so you guys may definitely may not be in communication or maybe um they are unable to express this um and that is because of something that may have happened in their childhood some sort of betrayal that they're not able to release just yet okay they may not even know what this betrayal is this this may be something that they may have been they may have repressed or something that's i um, mean their subconscious but it's definitely um affecting their ability to commit to a particular commit or offer commitment or open their heart um to their love they're still um um wallowing this pain i don't want to call it wallowing but okay let's say they're still stuck um in this pain and, and it's affecting their ability um to commit to you yeah you see that they, they haven't spoken out about this pain to anyone they haven't expressed this okay for some of them it's not necessarily related to um their childhood it could be related to a karmic partner that they're with right now they could be going through um, a divorce or um they could be experiencing some real instability especially when it comes to finances and maybe the person that they're with um has betrayed them and they they, they feel like they're not able to tell anybody about it they don't have anybody to talk to yeah look we have another card of divorce here ten of pentacles in reverse so i have two things coming through and it might be happening to your person at the same time or it's either or so what i'm come have coming through your person has big love but they can't express it because one there's something that happened in their childhood because ten of pentacles in reverse is also a dysfunctional family so there's something that happened in their childhood they felt betrayed and um, they felt hurt and they've not been able to speak about it and this this has festered um in their heart and they're unable to express love that's one and two um your person may be going through some kind of breakup some divorce some kind of divorce with um, a karmic partner right now and again they're unable to express their love because they need to heal um there's been some kind of betrayal um that happened here so your person right now i'm um, concentrating on bringing balance back into their life okay dealing with all these different issues okay so um they're not able to talk to you right now and i think that's why they're taking advantage of this telepathy um they they are enjoying because i'm getting that they are enjoying both people here enjoying with you because they've never experienced this before they think that's it is it's so special and it is all right so let's go into the emotional energy So we have shocked. So we're going to see what they're shocked at. We have anxious. And we have going through the going through the motions, okay? so um they, they've gone robotic right now whatever is happening in their life um they are just doing the robot just going through the motions going through life not feeling shit. all right what are they shocked about all right so there's something about um a karmic cycle that they're in that they're shocked okay so let's see what's going on here some of you dealing with a taurus or leo aquarius or scorpio And there you are. Look, you are here. Hermit in reverse. What's happening? And then you are here again. Magician in reverse. Some of you dealing with a Gemini as well. What am I getting with this? And then we have the world. <clears throat> Lots of stubborn energy happening here. Because, Virgo, you're stubborn too, eh? People don't know this, but you're, you're stubborn as fuck, right? All right, so what's happening? um i'm really picking up whoever this is there, there, there's a karmic partner or karmic family members at play here and what this karmic partner or 
karmic family members are trying to do. Um, they're trying to block your person from manifesting one new love into their life and two they're trying to block your person financially that's what i'm getting um they never thought that their family members or their karmic partner could be so unawakened unawakened and so vindictive and so manipulative they didn't see that coming i mean we could have told them but they didn't see that coming okay they didn't think that they would come they would they would compromise um their finances i'm really getting to a financial issue right and that's really opened their eyes as to just yeah yeah you see what i'm saying just how money grubbing or how much of a gold digger um their karmic family members and their karmic partner is they didn't realize look we have <clears throat> a king of pentacles in reverse right so this is someone who is in scarcity consciousness so they they that's a gimme gimme <clears throat> Um, attitude very entitled um, and will do anything for money okay totally unbalanced so they're absolutely shocked by all of this okay so your person's having a rude awakening right now and they're anxious because it looks like their finances um, have been compromised yet yeah. yeah they're anxious yeah, some kind of truth was revealed. Some of you dealing with the Libra here. Yeah, some truth was revealed about a third party. Right. And it made your person realize just how much um, they want to love in their life. Some of you dealing with a Pisces. Um, your person's looking to manifest um, a new beginning here. They're not sure if they can do it, but they're going to because there's no way that they can stay um, with this karmic partner that they're with. Okay, There's some, there was some kind of financial um, deceit here. Yeah, look, something came to light. We have the moon reverse, okay? Something came to light about their karmic partner, and it's related to finances. There was some kind of financial deceit. Yeah, some kind of financial deceit here. They never expected that from the third party. And now they're realizing how much of a gem um, you will, Virgo. So your person is going through the motions here, okay? Um, they're going through the motions until they can reconcile um, with you. We have the Six of Cups. Um, they're going to be stepping into their power. Um, for the moment, I think they're holding back and they're, create, they're crafting a plan. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, holding back, but they're crafting a plan. Some of you dealing with a Leo or an Aries. Yeah, but this had to happen so that your person could release any kind of immature behavior or any wishy-washy behavior or any kind of player player energy right um yeah they're in hangman mode some of you dealing with a pisces okay um they get they've gotten that new perspective all the rose colored glasses um are totally off their eyes now okay they're seeing things clearly yeah so it's some kind of financial impropriety that occurred here and that's really woken your person up All right, so let's have a look at what's happening in your person's life right now. Um, Spirit in three cards, could you tell us what's happening um, in Virgo's person's life? All right, we have a pathway. Card number eight. 35 reduced to eight. And this came out before it turned over before. We have change on number nine, so that's like a Virgo card. So we have eight, nine, that's progress. Um, and then we have eight again. So some of you might be seeing eight, eight. Um, and then we have this false person. So something um, is being revealed about this false person. And that's what's driving a lot of internal changes um, in your person. All right. So it looks like your person's on kind of some kind of path to transformation here. Okay. Notice all the butterflies on the path and the light at the end of the tunnel here. Um, Spirit is guiding this person right now. So they're being divinely guided right now. So all the revelations that are happening in their life, it had to happen. This is divine guidance. Yeah. Okay. Um, your person has been stuck in, in, in their own wounding for a long time. Okay. Not able to move on. But now 
um love is setting this person free we have a king of cups here scorpio okay yeah um they have not been speaking their truth and they have not spoken their truth for a while um and they're getting ready to do that but the first thing they need to do um is get themselves into balance so the big internal changes happening with your person um and they're on their own spiritual journey right now they're on the path to transformation yeah look we have this change card here so they're finally stepping into their power okay now this person has a lot of insecurity still we have the four of cups in reverse i mean it looks like they manifested some kind of toxic codependent um situation in their life we have a nine of pentacles in reverse here yes whoever they're with whether it's karmic family members or karmic partner um these persons are bullies we have the king of swords in reverse they're bullies and they're verbally abusive so this is what your person's dealing with right now they're, they're manifesting a new beginning for themselves because um they've ha they've had the spiritual awakening here okay and they're seeing clearly now how they sabotage themselves um in the past so they're focusing on healing their heart okay so there's some false person or false persons um, in their life yes yeah, somebody that does not love them look look the, the karmic partner here now this could be a mother energy okay we have the empress in reverse some of you guys dealing with a libra or taurus right this could be a mother energy someone that did not nurture them someone that was ungrounded someone that was may have been um battling mental illness and was undiagnosed okay um someone entitled someone that might have been oppressive right so it started off with their mother and then um it made them manifest a partner who was in the same energy okay so their partner may be all innocent on the outside but a total terror um at home so they're realizing that they don't love this karmic partner they're seeing that now um and they're hoping that they can manifest um, love into their life because they see you as the queen of pentacles and they keep comparing you um, to this false person and, and it's, it's you know it's chalk and cheese right so they're absolutely heartbroken over the decisions that they've made um, but they're not taking action at this time what they're focusing on um, is their transformation some of you definitely dealing with a scorpio all right let's look at their mental energy with regard to you um, when they think about you and this connection, um, where's their head at? When they think about you and this connection, where's their head at? On the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords reverse um they just want to release anxiety i think they've been absolutely stressed out here um, and they just want to release anxiety right now we have the wheel of fortune in reverse taurus leo scorpio aquarius we have the five of swords gemini libra aquarius energy we have the Emperor, Aries and Taurus, and we have the Page of Wands. So without clarification, what I'm getting here is that um, your person is either stuck in a karmic cycle um, with a karmic partner or with karmic family members, right? Um, and, and they're realizing now that they have been sabotaging um, themselves all this time now it looks like there's there was something that happened to your person in their childhood whether they were bullied by karmic family members whatever it is and then they found a partner and um, that did the same thing right so they're realizing that now they're realizing it's a continuous cycle that they've been in so what they're doing right now they're trying to take control of their life right so all these things had to happen for your person to step into their emperor energy and take charge of their life and they're looking to bring some message of communication to you 
um, to talk about how they feel. And they're also going to be speaking up to the people who may have bullied them in the past. So let me clarify and see what, the, what are the, the additional messages. Yes, they're taking charge of this karmic cycle. This karmic cycle of self-sabotage, um, they're standing in their ground as the emperor. So the emperor is out here twice. So this is someone who has definitely leveled up um, and they're not going to be tolerating any bullshit from anyone anymore. Okay, before they had given their power away, um, but they're, they're taking that back. Okay, yeah, so we have a Virgo here. Um, so this person is definitely thinking about coming forward um, and bringing you a solid offer because they recognize that you were the one all the time. Um, they couldn't see that before because this person didn't love themselves and they were in some kind of toxic situation. But now that they're stepping into their power, some of you guys dealing with a Leo, um, they're realizing you're the one. So they're coming forward. They're taking charge of this karmic cycle, breaking free. Okay, let's see this five of swords. Yeah, they're realizing that they've been shooting themselves in the foot. Okay, they have their counterpart here and they went for somebody else. Um, that was completely false. They were there exploring their options, right? Doing the most. When love was staring them right in the face. Okay. So they're, they're no longer willing to live a lie. They're no longer willing to deceive themselves with the Seven of Swords reverse. No, no longer willing to stay um, in a position or in a situation where there's no integrity, there's no love, and there's no happiness. Okay? They are allowing this tower to fall. Some of you guys dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries. So they're here as the Emperor. Yeah. This person had an issue um, with boundaries in the past, okay? They just allowed anyone to run rough shot over them because they wanted to people please, okay? But now they're looking at reunion, they're looking at their soulmate, and they realize they have to put their lives in order um, in order to come forward to their counterpart. So all that wishy-washy behavior, um, they're done with that shit. They are taking charge um, of their life, okay? I think there are a lot of secrets that are coming out about them, their karmic families, their karmic family members, things that happened in this person's childhood, all that is being revealed. Yes, yeah, some kind of betrayal um, from the past. All this is being revealed and it had to happen so your person could have a fresh start. So they want to communicate to you. We have a page of wands here. They want to bring forth a message. Um, they want to tell you, um, for some of them, they're getting a divorce. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. But some of them want to tell you about their dysfunctional family, especially their dysfunctional um, childhood. Okay. Um, there are things that they've never spoken to anybody about. They want to talk to you and they want to express their truth to their families as well because they feel like when they do that, um, they're going to be able to move on because they've been stuck for a very long time. Okay. All right. So if this sounds like a person and their energy, join me in Extended Virgo. And what we're going to do there, we're going to look at your person's heart space energy for you. Um, we're going to look at what's blocking the connection. We're going to get some messages from their 3D self, messages from their 5D self. Um, we're going to get, um, look, we're going to look at potential actions towards you by the end of the month. And then I'm going to get a card of advice um, for you. Okay, Virgo. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Please like, share, subscribe, and make a comment down below. And if you can go a step further and click on any of the ads that may have played during this reading, that's beautiful energy exchange for me, okay? All right, guys. Take care. Bye.